We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. Welcome to Sunday Afternoon Football here at Lakeside Stadium. South Melbourne hosting Avondale. And John, it's a must win for the boys in blue. Avondale, of course, a side South will need to beat in the run-up to the finals to prove that they're still a championship contender. Well, it's a big game for South, obviously needing to win its last four games to try and keep uh, up with Bentley at the top of the table. But uh, in their way, it's going to be Avondale. It's going to be a very tough game, David. If you recall, at Nine Stadium earlier this year, we had to fight very hard for that 2-0 win. But it's good to be back at home for the first time in three rounds. Let's see how we go today. Challenge there and Matt Miller finds a bit of space on the left hand side. Nishroen gets the quick ball away to Norton. South are in space here. Luich calling for it. Norton goes short. 1 2 with Epifana. Chance for Brad Norton on the left foot. A good intervention there. And it's still alive at the back. Sits for Matty Miller. And Miller with the dipping shot, trying to get past Chris May. That wasn't far away, John. Good positive intent to start this match. Well, the first shot in anger coming from the home side, South Melbourne, today. Matthew Miller hasn't been on the uh, goal-scoring charts for a while now. Goes for a shot from the edge of the box. Beats Chris May, but also goes past the far post, and it's a goal kick. Madoka standing over this one. Deadly ball played in towards Fleming. It's 1 0 Avondale. They've struck early, the visitors. A beautiful cross from Massimo Murdocca, an experienced player, of course, a former South boy. Jeffrey Fleming, speaking of experience, gets in there, tucks it away. A bad start for South. Bad start for South after a, a, an initial good start from the team, but uh, from one of their first. Um Forays Ford Avondale. They've uh, scored from a set piece and it's a wonderful goal as well. Great cross from Massimo Docker, like you said, a former South player in the old NSL. Right on the spot there for Jeffrey Fleming, the captain for Avondale, an experienced defender. Flicks that pass Raganovic and it's 1 0 to the away side. Norton almost keeping his feet there, in fact, winning the free kick in the end. Takes it quickly, looks for Lee Monopolis. Chris May advances. Monopolis flicks that over and eventually Avondale forced to clear behind. Uh, some shaky moments there as South pressed for a quick equaliser. Madoka's corner plays towards the far post. In fact, it's gone right across the box. And a chance there spilling and going over the bar. Avondale looking for a quick one-two punch. Taken there by Epifano forward to Schroen. Schroen's cross charged down. Might get another go at it here. He's got Bradley Norton if he wants to back heel Schroen. Hangs on to it. Can't find anything he likes. Still going back here, Mark Schroen. He's run into a wall of trouble. And they might be on the counter-attack here. Danger going forward, Germano's in space. Marla comes across, keeps his feet. Germano with the shot and it's 2-0. It is 2-0 Avondale, John. Southcourt on the counter-attack. 10 minutes into this game, things have gone from bad to worse. Can you believe it? We're already down 2-0 and I don't even know what to make of that goal, John. We're attacking and we turned it right around. Well, uh, South uh, having an opportunity through Marcus Schroen to maybe get across him, but instead he's uh, backtracked, uh, been forced to go all the way to halfway. He's been dispossessed. A quick uh, break from Avondale finds Jonathan Germano who has uh, done very well there uh, gets himself into a bit of space finds a gap between Michael Liga and Tim Marlow and it's slotted, he's slotted under Raganovic who can't do much about it and he throws his uh, hands up in despair uh, Nikola Raganovic at the, the fact that we're 2-0 down good break from Avondale and they're good for their 2-0 lead at the moment David Going forward up the line this time, Schroen heads forward. Miller, Epifano, South need to get something going pretty quickly in this game. Epifano's cross, parried away, a chance for Miller! And Matthew Miller, open net in front of him. Golden chance, goes begging. Well, you just think, David, if uh, that chance would have been taken at the other end from Avondale, it's a golden opportunity for Matthew Miller. Like we said, he hasn't scored for a while and that was a great opportunity to do so. Drags it wide, doesn't even put it on target. Machini goes direct. Looking for Lujic and Monopolis. Chance for Monopolis goes through and it's cleared by May. Wide for a corner. In fact, I think he might have put it wide himself there in the end. Monopolis past the advancing May. And John, that is another opportunity lost. Well, it's a harder opportunity uh, than, the, than the Miller one, but I feel that maybe Lee Monopolis should have shot first time instead of allowing for that extra bounce. Nevertheless, the defence scrambles it away for a corner. Norton to Constantinides. KK to Epifani and now back to Norton, but they've turned it over again. And danger here as Avondale look to expose them again on the counter-attack. Ball played forward, opportunity, chance for Krapko. Krapko through one-on-one, Krapko pushed wide by Timmy Mahler and saved eventually by Raganovic, cleared away. And that was very nearly a third. Epifani's corner, they've got to make something of these. 
good low ball in chance for Miller. And once again, a chance goes begging. Matty Miller has missed two golden opportunities in this half, and you really have to wonder if it's our day, John. Well, David, uh, the first half can be simply summed up so far by the fact that Avondale have taken their chances and we haven't. Eager chomps that one off. Schroen. Can't hang on to it. And going forward, Krapko holds up. Opportunity maybe for Avondale as they played that one forward. I think the flag is up this time. The flag is up against Sanders who tucks it into the back of the net and uh, tempting the referee to give him a yellow card there, but the ref deciding not necessary in this case. Long ball played up the left. Krapko again. Now Germano. Turns, looks, delivers. Another opportunity coming out. Raganovic gets to that. Ooh, Raganovic, bit of follow through there. I think entirely accidental. He's not looking good as well, David. I think you're right, John. I think he might. Oh, geez, the uh, vision here is a bit, uh, bit upsetting. Uh, big Nikola Raganovic. He really looks to be dazed, and no surprise to see he's been taken off uh, precaution. The right option there. Zayn Zanelli coming on, and things go from bad to worse for South. Docker's corner. Madoka. Long to the far post, Fleming puts it up, Krapko with the overhead kick and a brilliant save by Zanelli, he's been on for all of 30 seconds and that was Schmeichel-esque, John. Well it could have been game over already by half time, this is a wonderful save from uh, Zanelli who's just come on David and it shows why well, you need a good second keeper on the bench for, for those things and he makes a great save off Krapko. Well, needing to change things in the second half. Chris Taylor recognising that something drastic needs to happen. Already been forced to take off his keeper. On comes Manolo for Schroen. Ball played on the left there. And now Norton. Up wide, Manolo. Can he start to get things going? He's got a great touch, Manolo. Works his way in, plays it in board. He wants it uh, Monopolis there, but it's cleared over the bar for a corner. But already making things happen in this half, which is a good sign. Nelly uses the skipper to build from the back. Decides to go long again, this time Lujic and Manolo. Manolo get it from the big striker. Shouts for a handball, nothing doing from the ref. Manolo, right foot across the face, Epifano side netting. Good build up by South, but still they can't find a way to score. Well, it's a difficult chance for Epifano at the back post. A good build up play from South. Uh, they're edging closer to the goal. Unfortunately, they just eludes Epifano. Does well to get uh, a foot to it, but it goes past the near post. Eager. KK. Now Monopolis coming up field a fair bit with that new forward structure. Norton. Brad Norton puts the cross in. Chance for Milos Lujic. And Milos Lujic usually does a lot better with those opportunities. That header floating harmlessly wide. This time going the shorter option and uh, it'll come once again to Fashini. And there's space now here for Epifano. If you can get a ball into Lujic, Epifano who's got options. Still going Epifano. Tries to play it in. Chris May comes out and deals with that one nicely. And Chris May mops that one up and keeps the clean sheet. Opportunity here for Germano. Now Madoka, safe man to give it to. Fleming, opportunity. Germano played forward. Flag stays down. Opportunity coming in. Sanders ball. Eager can't clear it. Falls to Germano and it is 3 0. And a bad dream becomes a nightmare for South Melbourne. They had so many chances to get back into this game and Avondale have exploited them on a bit of a counter-attack. And John, I don't even know what to say anymore, I'm afraid. Well, like I said, David, uh, Avondale have taken their chances and, and we haven't. It's as simple as that. Uh, look, appeals for offside from the South defence there. Um, on the far side and Krapko as well looked offside, uh, passive offside that is. Uh, referee's assistant keeps his flag down, play goes on, the cross is intended for Krapko. Eager fails to clear it properly, in fact it goes straight into the path of uh, Germano who just stands there and just uh, ba basically puts that ball in the back of the net and uh, have Avondale have their third of the afternoon and it looks like it's game over David. Ball played quickly, an opportunity maybe still there for Krapko. Hasn't scored, but been involved in a lot, as has this man, Madoka. Ball played in. Maybe an opportunity. Good saves and Ellie down quickly. Krapko follows up, plays in, and Constantinidis gets the header away for the moment. Eager clears it. Maybe a chance. No, the referee is uh, blown for a free kick there, and South Melbourne out of trouble. Sanders goes backwards. And we're going to build again here. Avondale, opportunities for Krapko. Sanders to Fleming. There's a pair, have been around a long time. Flag stays down this time on Krapko. He's through one on one with Zanelli. Nice work by Constantin. He forces him wide. Golden opportunity for 4 0. And well, John, for the first time today, it's Avondale who have missed a golden chance. And frankly, that should have been four. 
Well, Lee Monopolis comes to the bench. Chris Taylor makes his final substitution. Steve Hatsy Costas just trying to get something out of this game now. Flat ball in the middle. And it'll sit for Fashini to Epifano. And a skill by Epifano. There's a look in front of him. Plays that one. Wanted Luyic. Didn't reach him. It'll sit up again for Luyic. And wow, shouts for a penalty. I think he got a good piece of the ball, John. Interesting to see where the contact comes here. Oh, look, I think uh, I think that James coming, the defender, got the ball first here. You see there from the replay, Luyic going down. And uh, it was a good tackle in there by James coming. The referee waves play on. Amala giving it to... This man, Manola, usually a good option. Manola, uh, the persistence on the ball is fantastic. Cross played in. Chance now. He confronted the keeper there, did Big Milos Lich. No foul against him there, but doesn't matter in the end because the ball cleared away. Epifano. Still going Epifano. Still going Epifano. Now Norton on the left. Norton, good low cross, looking for Luyic. And we've seen those go in so many times, John, but this time it's only the side netting. And South, I don't know what to say, so many chances. Well, this is a difficult chance again. Good cross from Brad Norton to the far post. Milos Luic trying to go in at the near post, only gets side netting. Chris May, you think, has it covered. Perhaps Milos Luic should have gone for the far post. Nevertheless, a difficult chance gone missing for South. His kick, he didn't get that where he wanted to. Milos Luic will be the beneficiary. Hatsi Costas, nice touch there by Steve Hatsi Costas. And a ball played in, chance here for Milos Luic. Plays it in towards Manolo. And as that crossed the line, Chris May scoops it off. They're appealing. And the referee and the linesman not convinced. This was oh so close. Well, it's a great chance for South. Uh, we'll see if it should have gone over the line or not. And the goal should be awarded. Well, looks very close, David. But on that angle, I don't think the ball is completely crossed the line. So I think it's a great call from the referee's assistant. An excellent header from Manolo. Unfortunately, doesn't get the reward that he deserves. Well, it looked like a handball from Manolo there, accidental. Doesn't matter because Avondale will come away with it. Massimo Madoka gets round eager. Now chance for Sanders. The flag is up. And although it was a nice finish, the whistle had gone there. And the second time that's happened to Sanders today. Mala waits. Manolo. Now Hatsi Costas. Fashini. A couple of tough men in the midfield. Fashini. Still going. Still going, Fashini. Right to the edge there, across the face. Chance for Luyic, the header on target. But Chris May, not the tallest of keepers, but doesn't need to be on that one. Fano back to Norton. Now to Manolo. A chance to play a good ball in. Manolo on the right foot. The shot, and that's gone in. It's 3-1. South Melbourne hit back in the 88th minute. Maybe just the faintest, faintest glimmer of hope. Nice build up there by Manolo. Might have taken a deflection on the way through, John. It doesn't matter. It is 3-1 South, still in with a slight chance. Well, it's an excellent, an excellent goal from Manolo. I think it did take a deflection. Let's have a look. Looks like it hit the back there of, of coming. Uh, we'll see from uh, behind the goals the best angle. Nevertheless, Manolo has worked really hard since he came on at the start of the second half, and he deserves that goal. Yeah, it takes a clear deflection of coming there. Beats beats uh, Chris May at the near post. Manolo gets the goal he deserves, 3-1, but I think it's a little too late for South. Mala plays that long. It's just a tiny spring in the step. Milos Lijic looks to be held there. Milos Lijic surely dragged down. Shouts for a penalty. And I think Avondale have dodged a bullet there, John. This looked a clear foul. Well, David, I think this should be a penalty. Uh, the shirt tugging was start started outside the area from Fleming and uh, continued in the area. And Fleming uh, lucky to dodge a bullet there. Well, South, it's a bit too little too late here, but they're still pressing. They've looked very good in the last 10 minutes. Epifano. Epifano again. They can make it 3-2. You just never know. Chance maybe played in for Sheeny. Well, for Sheeny, it sits up for Miller and it's cleared away. And that might be the very last roll the dice played for South. Well, there was another good uh, opportunity from South. Well worked. And unfortunately for South, uh, good defending from Avondale prevented uh, Matthew Miller from scoring here. A bit of a tug of the shirt there from uh, on Milos Luic again. But uh, he nevertheless chested it down for Miller. But the chance went begging. Miller's header is cleared away. Referee looking at his watch and deciding he's seen enough. A bitterly disappointing result for South. 3-1 in the end. Scoreline doesn't reflect the number of opportunities they have, but in the end, John, it doesn't matter as long as you take your chances. Avondale took their chances. South Melbourne did not. We've got no one to blame but ourselves. A very disappointing result and one that could cost us a top two finish if we're not careful. Well, absolutely, David. It was uh, this very disappointing performance. And we said during the commentary that uh, the difference between us and Avondale today was that they took their opportunities, or the majority of them, 
whilst we didn't and uh, they got off to a great start two goals in the first 10 minutes really set themselves up and despite a good effort from the boys in the second half it wasn't uh, enough and uh, we end up only scoring one goal and we lose 3-1 you'd imagine that's the top spot gone for the season we've now got to concentrate on trying to finish second come finals time this week's Melbourne City Toyota Man of the Match Award goes to the player who came on and made a difference in the second half. Well done, Manolo. Well, I've got the skipper Michael Eager here with me. Eager's fair to say, bitterly disappointing result. Uh, not really sure what to make of that, but when you cop too early, it's always going to be a hard game. Yeah, we, uh, we started off uh, pretty poorly defensively, uh, unfortunately, copying, uh, copying those two goals early doors. And I thought we had you know, quite a few chances, and we, we probably uh, should have, and... and and on a different day, would have scored uh, another goal or two before half time, which, which could have made it a bit easier second half. But uh, then again, um, you know, the third goal was a soft mistake uh, by myself. And, um, and there we go, we're 3 0 down and we're chasing the game. So it's, uh, we've got a lot to work on right now. But uh, there's still so much to play for, can still finish second and uh, should still be looking to try and win the championship this year. So the boys have just got to pick themselves up. Oh, of, of course, yeah. Look, um, the supporters and everyone else around the club, you know, disappointed. And, and we are too, but um, it's the way it is when you're playing. You can't afford to, um, to be too disappointed all the time because you've got another game next week. And uh, there's still a lot, as you said, to play for. Obviously, a big derby game against Knights, um, which we really, really need to win. Uh, and then box on for the rest of the season so we at least uh, end up with uh, at least one trophy. Look, obviously made so many chances today and just didn't finish them, so it must be really frustrating to look at a game like that and know that we, on balance of play, were about level, but we just didn't take our chances. Yeah, it's sort of, uh, sort of previous weeks we've um, you know, been scoring quite a few and uh, conceding a few, but today um, you know, we, we got a few, but, but didn't really score enough. Um, and you know, it was just one of those days, you know, Millsy had a penalty shout at the end, I think um, those little things aren't, aren't going our way. But um, yeah, back to, uh, back to the training park tomorrow night and uh, look forward to the week ahead. Well, Zane Zanelli, uh, not a fantastic time to be talking, unfortunately, but through no fault of your own, you came on uh, in unfortunate circumstances and you quitted yourself quite well. Yeah, um, it was, uh, it's unfortunate Nico got injured and uh, I hope he's OK. But uh, yeah, I mean, any opportunity I said at the start of the year, just try and take it and do what I can with it. And um, yeah, it's just unfortunate that the result um, went against us today. And I guess, you know, the boys worked hard. We created a lot, but just a couple of lapses in concentration just seemed to be getting us um, over the last few weeks. Uh, we just need to keep working hard and, you know, it's, it'll come. There's a lot of quality here, so um, we've just got to keep working at it. Well, it might be another opportunity. We don't know what uh, the condition of Nicola's injury is at the moment. We certainly hope he's not seriously injured. But uh, should the call come next week, a big game against the Melbourne Knights, you might be uh, in between the sticks for that one. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, whatever happens this week happens. I've been working hard for a long time, trying to um, just wait patiently for my opportunity. And if it came today, if it comes next week, it comes next week again. And um, just keep trying to do, as I said, what I can for this side and for this club.